welcome back to another video macro war and the last lens is the 30 3.5 from sony so why an aps-c it's for a crop sensor i know it's silver i know i would have never guessed that i would actually get this lens and try it because it's a 30 millimeter 3.5 so it's it's not even a 2.8 so why would I get it? There is no features. There is no buttons. There is nothing. I was actually surprised. It's metal. So it's a great build. Very light. Very fun to shoot with. But the only reason that I actually got it. It's because I already got these two. The macro lenses. So I wanted to see which one is better. And since now I have the Sony a7R5. I can still shoot 26 megapixel with distance. So that's still better than my Sony a7 III. So why not? And of course I have the ZV-E10. So 24 megapixel, macro, great for photo, great for video. Very light, like it's, it's like nothing. For $300, I'll give it a try because if it can give me the same result as the 90 millimeter for $1,100 or the 50 millimeter for $550, Maybe it's worth getting. And this lens have one of the coolest lens hood. I mean, look at this. Have you seen a lens hood like this before? I don't know. Maybe it's the only one. And look at the lens itself. It's very small in the middle. So let's do that. We're gonna do some photos, some videos, and some low light tests. Let's take a look. So the results are really shocking. This lens, it's very capable. Super fast autofocus, wide, so it's beautiful. It gives you different perspective in macro photography. What's your thoughts? What do you think about this lens and how good it is comparing to the other two? And to not make the video a little long, probably gonna do the comparison in a different video. This way, we have one video just for Okay. If you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, and if you want to see the result of this macro war, subscribe to the channel so you can see the video as soon as I upload it. Thank you guys for watching. See you next one.